The authors would like to thank the Aid Academy for the opportunity to present the paper at the 5th International Conference on Communication, Management and Humanities, ICOMA 5, 2024. We, an academician from Halal and Tayyiban Research Center, University Islam Sultan Sharif Ali, Brunei Darussalam, will be present our research entitled, Unveiling Halal Research Among UNISA Academics. The research teams consist of Noor Surila Wana Sulaiman and Noor Karia Hashim. Halal industry has a significant potential to manufacture and produce products and services within and outside the country, even expanding to Muslim minority countries. As Islam is the official religion in Brunei, the halal lifestyle is rooted among the people, and the halal industry holds significant importance in the country. A significant amount of effort has been put forward by the government of Brunei to promote and grow the halal business, and it acknowledges the potential of this industry to diversify the economy. Additionally, as evidence of Brunei's dedication to improving halal research and gaining a better understanding of its influence on various industries, the Halal and Tayyiban Research Center, HTRC, was established in 2017 at University Islam Sultan Sharif Ali. Nevertheless, despite these endeavors, the current state of halal research in Brunei is largely unknown. Research on halal tourism, the halal food sector, and halal certification systems has been conducted extensively in Southeast Asia. Admittedly, recent halal reviews often featured the Malaysian and Indonesian halal markets as leaders in the region, leaving Brunei's contributions primarily out of consideration. A greater emphasis should be placed on halal research within Brunei's academic courses. This remark highlights a significant deficiency in the scholarly literature. A dearth of thorough examination and analysis of the current corpus of knowledge on halal research output and contribution within the specific context of Brunei. Drawing upon this issue, the present study tries to overcome this knowledge gap by presenting a detailed overview of the state of halal research in Brunei, written among HTRC's academics. This study aims to evaluate the current state of research pinpoint important study topics and areas of concentration, and emphasize the possible consequences for future research and advancement. This review thoroughly analyzes the literature to lay the foundation for a strategic discussion on the future of halal research in Brunei. The study adopted a quantitative method. The SLR technique, utilized to investigate and categorize published material on the topic of halal, was the scholarly approach utilized in this study. The figure depicts the study strategy utilized in this work, aiming to guarantee a thorough and clear approach. For this study, the manuscripts of halal research were retrieved from the Google Scholar. Google Scholar was selected for this study due to its valuable resource for systematic reviews, which provides an exhaustive search, efficiency, and cost-effectiveness compared to other databases that frequently necessitate subscriptions or licenses. After determining the database used for this study, the next step is to use keywords to search for documents for analysis. This study uses the keywords Halal and University Islam Sultan Sharif Ali. The search yielded 410 documents related to Halal published in the Google Scholar database between 2017 and June 2024. In order to facilitate the analysis process using Views Viewer and Microsoft Excel, the data was downloaded in the comma-separated value file format. The mapping obtained by Views Viewer will later be used as a reference for conducting accurate content analysis based on the researcher's name and co-occurrence author's keywords for halal research trends. The search output was plotted from 2017 to as of 18th of June 2024 to provide a comprehensive overview of the publication trend of halal among University Islam Sultan Sharif Ali UNISA members, with a particular emphasis on the Halal and Tayyiban Research Center, HTRC. The study opted for research commenced in 2017, coinciding with the foundation of HTRC in the same year. The table shows the academics joined HTRC. No publication was found in 2017. Between 2018 and June 2024, 126 publications were found written by HTRC's members. Unfortunately, 11 manuscripts are unrelated to halal research, resulting in only 115 manuscripts researching halal. As shown in the chart, 
Halal research publications fluctuate yearly, starting with one in 2018, then an increase in 2019 and 2020. However, output dropped in 2021 with nine publications. The drop in research is believed to be due to COVID-19. Few researchers believed that as a direct consequence of lockdown measures and the closure of most university research facilities, all research activities and clinical trials unrelated to COVID-19 came to a halt. Then, the publication rose to 29 papers in 2022 and 37 in 2023, respectively. However, as of June 2024, the publication only shows six papers. While the publication trend may have dropped, it does not mean the trend end as the year not ended. The publication process can be lengthy and complex, and it's important to understand that it takes time for work to make its way through the system. Overall, it is encouraging that Halal research has been productive in Brunei over the last three years. 58 published sources from various documents are found, namely, journal, proceedings, book chapter, abstract book and book. The results shows that the Journal of Halal Science and Technology is the predominant outlet, with 13 articles published. Ten conference papers were published in the proceedings of the fourth international seminar Halalan Thayiban Products and Services 2019, and nine extended abstracts were published in the AIJR abstracts of the International Halal Science Conference 2023. On the other hand, other papers were scattered in various types of publications. The pie chart shown underscores the prevalence of journal articles with 52% as the primary publication avenue for disseminating halal research among HTRC. This positively indicates a vibrant academic discourse and practice within periodicals. Moreover, the substantial 27% slice of the chart the conference paper represents indicates progressive participation in numerous academic conferences in both halal and related fields organized in Brunei and internationally. Even 10% of the extended abstract was published due to the academic conference attended and the international innovation competition. 8% of book chapters indicate HTRC slowly growing established foundational texts on the subject. However, the sparse representation of authored books, 2%, is peculiar, given that the university press encouraged the publication of the book. Nevertheless, the lower production output offers more potential areas for growth. The bibliometric network visualization represented in the figure denotes a core group of HTRC's co-authorship, driving the scholarly conversation of halal. The author depicted in figure is the most popular and has contributed to halal research affiliated as the first author with other authors. The link nodes show the relationship between authors and the thickness of the links and the distance between the nodes shows a degree of collaboration among authors. The visual display in figure shows that the bigger the nodes, the greater the collaboration. The leading authors with the bigger nodes, nor Sarilawana Sulaiman, nor Haria Hashim, and Nurdeng Derase. Figure shows that this study identifies the most important keywords, halal industry, halal, Brunei, and business excellence. This shows that researchers are more interested in the development and excellence of the halal industry in Brunei. Other subject areas, such as halal pharmaceuticals, nutraceuticals, and natural products, remain untouched. Another subject areas that are not touched are modest fashion, halal lifestyle, contemporary issues, makassid sharia, halal consumerism, halal logistics, and halal supply chains. This study explored halal research among HTRC's academics and revealed a research ecosystem of diverse interests and significant potential for future growth. Besides, the findings underscore Brunei's vibrant halal research environment, emphasizing academic scholars' pivotal role in supporting the nation's economic diversification efforts. Additionally, this piece enriches the academic discourse on halal research by identifying gaps and suggesting new investigative perspectives. Being limited to sourcing literature from the Google Scholar database, the review may need to include research in other academic databases. To overcome these limitations, future research should consider a multilingual approach, such as those in the Malay or Arabic languages. Additionally, future studies should include literature from other databases such as Scopus or the Web of Science, 
to ensure a more comprehensive coverage of halal research in the Brunei context. Moving forward, the study provides the strategic directions to advancing the halal ecosystem in the country. First, HTRC should establish partnerships with local and international industries to facilitate research collaboration. The partnership can open avenues for research funding or give insights to support halal research growth. Second, HTRC should collaborate with local authorities and regulatory bodies to ensure halal and thayyiban standards and regulations compliance and enhance the research ecosystem further. Furthermore, in addition to achieving Brunei Vision 2035, HTRC should also focus on research niches to become a referral center and halal hub. The HTRC should specialize the research niches shown and must be related to Sharia perspectives.